hello and welcome back to Forza Horizon 4 again. Uh, I'm in the Lamborghini Urus concept car again because we've been given some more details of the expansion uh, that's going to come out uh, next week, actually on Thursday. Uh, so I'm going to be live streaming it on Friday. So watch out for that. Uh, but anyway, we've been given some details on cars that are going to be added. So I'll uh, put some pictures of these cars up on the screen as I go through them. Uh, so obviously we have the Urus, the 2019 uh, Lamborghini Urus, the full production spec one. We've also got the new M5, the 2018 M5. We've got the 2017 Ram 1500 Rebel TRX concept, which is a big red truck. That's all I really know about that. Uh, we've got one of the old Koenigseggs uh, coming to the game. Uh, the CC8S, so it's one of the really early ones. Really excited to drive that, actually. That would be a really good car. Love Koenigseggs, the new ones anyway. But yeah, the old ones are... I don't know, they're the first, some of the first sort of mad hypercars. Uh, we've got also got the 2018 Exomotive Exo set off road, which is a buggy. Uh, we've got the Lamborghini Aventador J, not not the SVJ, not the new one. This is an old, well not old, but on quite soon after the Aventador came out, there was this. I don't know if they made a few of them or one of them, but it was basically an Aventador race track thing with no roof. You'll see what I mean, but you'll recognise the car, I think. Uh, mad, mad thing. Really pleased to see that coming, and that'll be fun as well. We've also got the Celine S5S Raptor, which was in Horizon 2, I think, but was quite complicated to unlock. Uh, so not many people had that car. I didn't actually realise it was in the game until quite recently. But yeah, it's an interesting car to be in the game. Another supercar. Uh, we've also got the 1953 Morris Minor Series 2 Traveller. Uh, so if the little Morris Minor in the game wasn't enough old Morrises for you, we've got that. It's very nice with the wooden back and everything. It's a classic car, but it's not really very really racing gamey. Uh, then we've got another buggy, the Funko Motorsports F9. No idea about either of the buggies. They're just buggies. And we're also going to get uh, the Jim Carner Ford Fiesta from Jim Carner 8. Uh, can't find an image of that from the game. Um, but yeah, we've already got a Jim Carner Fiesta, so I don't really know uh, why they're adding that. Um, but anyway. So loads of loads of cars there. There's also a few more details about being able to hunt for hidden treasure and explore the largest map, uh, which they'd already told us about. But there's more details. Uh, I'm just reading through it now. So there's lots of new events, uh, including Trailblazer, which is a timed point A to B uh, thing, and that's a new PR stunt, so it's like the speed traps and speed zones, uh, but fastest time from point A to point B. Oh yeah, so the treasure thing, you have to solve riddles and locate treasure, treasure chest, chests, to add millions of credits uh, to your bank account, uh, which is a bit weird. That might help me buy Edinburgh Castle, which I still haven't been able to afford. I'm assuming there'll be new houses actually on this expansion, uh, but we'll see. And there's also a new bit of story mode, uh, Drift Club 2.0. 
So I haven't actually done the first Drift Club. So on the stream on Friday, when I'm next Friday, when I'm playing through uh, the new expansion, I might do Drift Club 1 and then on to Drift Club 2. Uh, but if not, I'll just save them and do a separate stream on Drift Club. Uh, but anyway, yeah, lots of stuff being added. With that new car list, I'm almost more excited about the cars than the, the island itself. I mean, some of the roads on that island do look pretty amazing. You saw the trailer there at the beginning before we started the video. Those roads were pretty incredible. But yeah, that car list, the Koenigsegg and the Aventador J, I'm particularly excited for. They'll be brilliant fun. To have the production version of this will be better than this weird looking thing. Not that the production one looks that much better, but anyway. Yeah, the Ventador J and the Koenigsegg I'm really looking forward to driving. I'm hoping we're going to get them all at the launch of the expansion and they won't just be part of the car pass a couple of weeks afterwards. So hopefully I'll be able to drive all of them on Friday. Be really good. Yeah, I'm streaming on Friday because previously I've tried to stream on the day it's come out and then the download's taken on more than I've expected and I haven't been able to be on time, so... Oh. Just make sure it's all downloaded and ready. I'm doing that on Friday, uh, 9.30 in the evening, so watch out for that. Uh, but anyway, I hope you're all excited for the expansion like I am. If you're not getting it straight away, watch the stream, see what it's like, decide if you want to get it or not. Uh, otherwise, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, I hope it's been useful if you didn't already know these extra details. Uh, and make sure to watch out for the stream on Friday. And I'll leave you with another little clip of that trailer to get you all excited for the expansion that's coming next week.